What's up guys, Handish here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Winter's End, the new shotgun in Rise of Iron, which is Iron Lord themed and is earned by hitting rank 14 in the Rise of Iron record book. I do have some tips on things you can do to speed up your progress in the record book. If you're interested, I'll link that in the description. For now, let's take a look at this weapon though. So it comes with fixed bonuses from the book. In the sights, it has a linear compensator, accurized ballistics, and field choke. In the next column, you have rifle barrel for increased range at the expense of reload speed, or hand laid stock for increased stability and reduced range. The middle column has lightweight for two times character agility, or casket mag for increased magazine size at the expense of stability. And finally, we have performance bonus, where kills with the weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo or life support where kills when critically wounded have a chance to start health regeneration. So there's some really nice bonuses here. I'm going with rifle, barrel, lightweight and performance bonus. This is probably going to be the best setup if you want the most from PvE and PvP with this weapon. In terms of stats though, this is a medium rate of fire and impact shotgun. It's also super close to the fan verdict archetype of shotgun for rate of fire, range and impact, which is pretty cool. Visually, the weapon is awesome. I really love the fur on the stock and having the blade on the end is really cool as well. In PvE content, it's a decent shotgun. It takes care of any low tier adds of course, but it has some nice DPS for majors as well. As an archetype, it's pretty solid for PvE. It's not the stolen will, super fast rate of fire type of shotgun, which are pretty popular for PvE, but this combination of range and impact is in a really good place for dealing damage to high health enemies in PvE content. Bonuses like lightweight and performance bonus are pretty epic all around as well. For PvE performance bonus will help you out a little bit with ammo, and all around it's a really fun shotgun to use. For PvE purposes, I do wish that you could get different roles of this thing though. A slightly higher stability and full auto roll would be pretty fun in the same way that Fan Verdict was, but nonetheless, this is a great weapon with a lot of cool factor. In the Crucible though, it's not a bad shotgun. Of course, the Crucible is dominated by the highest impact and range shotguns that are going, so Matadors and Party Crashers, and this thing simply won't compete with those if you're playing against good players. We may as well have that said now, but on the plus side, if this isn't a massive issue for you, then this could be a pretty great shotgun. Having a higher rate of fire means you can get more shots off, of course. You can get collateral kills with it as well. Look, that's always fun. Performance bonus will continue to be particularly useful here as well, but you'll need to be super close to a target for an effective one-shot kill because of the range and impact combination. The pellet spread seems somewhat inconsistent too. Sometimes you'll hit point-blank shots and seem to just do more or less no damage, but this only happens very occasionally, and outside of this, it's a really fun shotgun to use. You will have to work a bit for your kills, but again, the cool factor. I think the weapon looks fantastic and feels like it fits in perfectly while you're running around in the plaguelands fulfilling your dreams of becoming an Iron Lord. So there you go guys. I just wanted to take a quick look at Winter's End, the Iron Lord's shotgun in Rise of Iron. So thanks for watching the video guys. Let me know down below if you've managed to pick this thing up or you've tried it out yet. It's a really cool shotgun, absolutely worth grinding for. If you have enjoyed the video though, a like is always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe for a lot more Rise of Iron content. But for now, you guys have an awesome day.